Hi, how you doing? Good. My name is Andrew West. I'm Good. a student with Rowan uh, University. I just washed my hands. Uh, I'm just coming in to um, do a focused cardiovascular assessment, and I just want you to introduce yourself to the camera, um, give consent that it's okay that we do this assessment, then videotape it and post it on YouTube for my instructor, students, other students, and people to see. All right. My name is Michael Benson. I consent to this assessment being performed and posted online for viewing by Rowan Online students. Okay. So I'm just going to start the cardiovascular assessment by asking you a couple questions. Um, currently, do you have any chest pain? Uh, any shortness? Of, do you have any chest pain right now? No, no. Any shortness of breath? No. Any chest tightness? No. Any swelling in your legs or feet that you're noted? No, no. no. Okay. Uh, I'd like to ask you a couple history questions. Um, any history of diabetes? You personally? Not personally. Okay. Uh, any history? Do you smoke currently, or have you ever smoked? Never been a smoker. Okay. Um, have you ever had your cholesterol checked? Um, I go to the doctor annually, typically in November, and uh, they draw labs. Okay. So it's good that you're having your cholesterol checked by your primary physician. Um, uh, I'd like to just explain the assessment that I'm going to be performing on you. I'm going to be um, listening. Uh, first, I'm going to just be inspecting you visually, looking at your chest and neck. Um, the next step of the process is I'm also going to be auscultating using my stethoscope, the bell and the diaphragm. I'm going to be listening to your neck. I'm going to be listening to your chest. Things that I'm going to be listening for are um, uh, brewies, vibrations, extra swishes or pulsations that I can hear with my stethoscope just to try to look for any kind of abnormalities. Um, I'm, I'm then going to be, I'm also going to palpate your chest. I'm just going to be feeling for any abnormalities that I can feel with my hands or I'm going to be feeling for any thrills or vibrations, extra pulsations, anything like that. Do you have any questions about the assessment? No. Go for it. Okay. All right. So um, the first step of this assessment is I'm going to be just visualizing uh, your neck veins, including the carotid artery and internal jugular vein. So I'm just going to have you look up. Just upon looking at the neck, things that I'm looking for are any kind of um, you know, vibrations that I can see visually, um, any kind of abnormalities, uh, which I do not see any. So uh, the next step of the uh, assessment is I'm going to just do a little bit of um, auscultation on the neck. Uh, I'm going to start by listening with the bell of my stethoscope. Listening for any breweries, any uh, extra swishing sounds or vibrations, which I do not hear. So um, next step of the assessment, I'm going to have you keep looking up because I'm just going to be palpating your uh, carotid artery. I'm going to palpate one artery at a time, just feeling for any kind of um, thrills, any kind of extra vibrations. Okay. Uh, the next part of the assessment, I'm just going to be visualizing your chest wall and your bony thorax. I'm just going to be looking for, like I mentioned before, any kind of abnormalities in the chest wall. I'm going to be looking for any kind of extra vibrations that I can see visually. Um, and looking at your chest, I don't see either one of those. Um, uh, I'm going to also be palpating your chest. Is it okay if I do that now? Mm -hmm. So first I'm going to be trying to feel for the apex of your heart, which really is um, right about here. I can feel your heartbeat right at this right at this point. Uh, I'm going to just see if I I'm going to feel it for your carotid artery just to see if I can feel for your heartbeat in both areas at the same time. So I'm going to have you turn your head a little bit towards that way. And the heartbeat is synchronous at both sides, which is what I was looking for. Uh, I'm just going to continue to palpate your chest wall feeling for any kind of abnormalities, feeling for vibrations, feeling for breweries. Okay. Uh, the next part of my assessment is I'm just going to be uh, listening with my stethoscope. So I'm going to just come over around this side. Now, also just upon viewing their chest wall, um, I do not see any heaves or lifts as well. Uh, but during my, um, I'm not going to auscultate with my stethoscope using the diaphragm. Uh, the first site that I'm going to listen to is the uh, pulmonic, pulmonic site. Just listening for natural heart sounds, S1 and S2. Listening for any kind of extra heart sounds. Listening to the aortic site. I'm going to listen to Herb's point. I'm 
I'm going to move down to the right as well. Um, do you have any questions about the assessment so far? I'd like to ask you, just before I ask you about questions about the assessment, do you actively exercise at this time? I, I ride my bicycle somewhat regularly, maybe like two, three times a week. Okay. Miles. Okay, great. You know, and, and part of keeping up your good cardiovascular health is, you know, maintaining uh, routine exercise as much as you can. Okay. Or, um, you know, that's going to help promote your cardiovascular health. Um, any questions for me? No, I'm pretty satisfied. Thank you for giving me that information. Okay. Thank you for letting me perform this uh, focused cardiovascular assessment. Well, have a good day.